Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve problems involving area. That is base times height. For example, here we have a rectangle. And I'm going to say the base is 5 centimeters and the height is 3 centimeters. For you to find the area of this rectangle, you're going to have to apply the formula. So let's start by writing A equals 5 times 3. You can use a dot, you can use a multiplication symbol, or you can use parentheses to represent uh, multiplication. So A equals 5 times 3 is 15 square centimeters and this will be the answer. So all you gotta do is multiply the base times the height to find the area of this rectangle. Okay? I'm gonna give you another example. What if they give you <clears throat> what if they give you the five for the base without the height, and they ask you to find the height, and they're giving you also the area equals 15 square centimeters. They're giving you the area already. They're saying that it's 15 square centimeters for this area. And they're giving you the base to be five centimeters, but they're asking you to find the height. If that's the case, you're gonna, again, you're gonna use this formula and say A equals BH. A represents the area of the rectangle. So you're gonna start by writing 15, substitute that number, the value of the letter equals five for the base times the height that we don't have. We're looking for that. Well, to isolate the letter, the H, we're gonna have to get rid of this five. We're gonna have to get rid of the five so that we have H equals a value. So we're going to have to do the opposite operation. Opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 5. And we have to do it on both sides to balance the equation. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we cancel that out. And we say H equals 3. Okay? I can rewrite it in this form. H equals 3. And we're talking about centimeters. So as you can see, this was three before, right? Okay, here we have a parallelogram. And I'm gonna say that the, that the height of this parallelogram is four feet. And the base, we don't have it. We're gonna look for the base. What's given will be the area, the area of, to be 24 square feet. So we have the area. We know that the area of this parallelogram is 24 square feet. We know that the height is four feet, but we don't have the base. We're looking for the base. So we're gonna start by writing the formula, which is the same as the, um, the rectangle. So A equals BH base times the height. And let me give you the why. Why is the same? Why do we use the same formula, the parallelogram and with the rectangle? And the reason is that 
it is basically the same. This is basically a rectangle if we take this area and reconstruct it and put it on this side. Here you have it, you have your rectangle, okay? But the shape is a parallelogram. But to find the area, we use the same formula because we only have to multiply the base times the height. The base is what's on the ground, the height is that perpendicular line. Okay, so let's start substituting the numbers. I'm gonna substitute 24 for A. The base, we don't have it, but we do have the height which is four feet. We're trying to find the base. Base equals a number. So what's on the way is this four that we need to get rid of so that our equation looks like this. So to get rid of the four, we're gonna have to do the opposite operation, opposite of Multiplication is division, we're gonna divide by four. And we have to do the same on the other side to balance the equation. Four divided by four is one, so we cancel this out. And now bring the B down, equal 24 divided by four is six. And we can rewrite it as B equals six feet. That's our base. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about um, the area of a triangle. So, first I'm gonna start by giving you the formula, which is A equals one half base times the height. So, if we think about it, the rectangle was just base times height, but to find the area of the triangle, we have to divide it by two. And why? Why do we have to do that? Well, <clears throat> we said that the rectangle, the area is the base times the height. For the triangle, we have to divide it by two. We have to split it, right, to find that area. So since we only trying to find the area of a triangle, which is one of these, then we have to multiply the base times the height, then divide it by two. So let's say we have a triangle with the base to be eight and the height to be two. Let's keep it easy and simple. Um, this is the height and this is the base. So to find that area, I'm gonna start substituting the numbers using the formula for the area of a triangle. I'm gonna say the base times the height divided by two. That's another way of writing it. Instead of writing it this way with a one half, it is basically the base times the height divided by two. So you can do it like this or you can do it like this, okay? So A equals, A times two is 16 divided by two, which equals eight, okay? And I forgot to use units to put units here, so I'm gonna say feet for both. So we'll be square. Okay. Let's talk about a trapezoid. <clears throat> For a trapezoid, which it looks like this, the trapezoid has two bases. I'm gonna call it B1 and B2. The 
this is the height of the trapezoid and let me write the formula to find the area of the trapezoid to find all of these area it's gonna be a equals half times the height times the sum of the two bases. So you have to add the two bases and then the sum, you multiply it times the height and then you divide it by two. And if you notice, I'm, I'm doing it from right to left but you can do left to right, whichever is easier. Just remember the order operation. I always do um, the parentheses first. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna give you an example first. I'm gonna say that B1 is three, and I'm using easy numbers so that you get uh, the process. Um, I'm gonna say that B2 is five, and the height to be Eight. So area equals substitute the numbers instead of the letters. So height is H. I'm going to use parentheses, which means multiplication. And I'm going to say that B1 is 3 plus B2 is 5. Okay. Area equals, this area equals 3 plus 5 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64, but then we have to divide by 2. So I'm doing this now, divide by 2. You see what I did? So area equals... 32, and I forgot to use units again. 32, I'm gonna say this is centimeters. So the square centimeters will be the answer.